Hello, good morning all. Hope all are doing well. In today, we are going to cover one of the major KPI in LT that is integrity that is throughput, both uh, downlink and uplink. In throughput is directly proportional to your customer experience. So if the customer is getting good throughput, that experience is good. And if he is not getting the good throughput, that means the experience is bad. So we can optimize uh, accordingly to improve the customer experience and improve the throughputs. So what are the reasons? We can discuss one by one. So let's start. LD throughputs. First of all, when you are starting analysis, find out the cells which are having the throughput issues where you are getting the low throughput and mapping with the below details to find the exact regions. So uh, find upon uh, first is the low demand. Low demand means you can uh, mapping with your uh, payload and whatever the payload, uh, whatever the payload, if payload is less, uh, that means uh, the demand is low. That that may be the demand is low. That means with the throughput with the uh, getting the less throughputs on that particular seller site. So you can first of all check your check your uh, uh, payload on that particular cells. Okay, and that high utilization factor. High utilization factor means that is your utilization. Utilization means PRV utilization. One is the PDSH utilization and PUSH utilization. Physically downlink synchronization channel utilization and physical uplink uh, synchronization channel uh, utilizations. Uh, PDSH is downlink and PUSH is uplink. So you can check accordingly what is the utilization of the particular side. If you are getting high utilization greater than 80%, that may be the region of degradation of throughput because there is a multiple user is connected at a time and multiple data volume, multiple requests are coming to the uh, coming from that particular site or cell. So that's why we are getting high utilized cells. So that may be optimized <coughs> uh, through your load balancing or uh, your uh, uh, sharing the traffic to the neighbor cells so you can optimize accordingly if you are getting high utilizations uh, of that particular site or cell to improve this improve this throughput rssi and signer issue that is uh, rssi issue signer issue that is that uh, may be the major impact if you are getting high rssi and uh, signer issues so you can optimize accordingly the signer that may be the due to the interference uh, is there so you can check the external and internal interference on that particular site and overshooting also you can optimize accordingly by changing your electrical and mechanical tilt and also uh, uh, rssi part you can also check the proper cabling uh, is uh, there is any alarm that service impacting alarm like vswr alarm is there uh, or not and that properly corrected uh, and you can check uh, uh, if you are there is a uh, shop of the particular site uh, then you can get in the RSSI and signer issue. You can check accordingly and fix that issues. MIMO is working or not. MIMO means that multiple input and multiple output uh, that is uh, playing a vital role uh, uh, in uh, throughput cases. If you are getting higher modulations, uh, uh, higher modulations that means if you are getting 16 com and 64 com, but if the MIMO is not working, that is uh, user is not getting the good throughputs. So that means if your MIMO is 2T2R uh, and 4T4R, you are mapping with your RI indicator, rank indicators and utilization of the MIMOs. So accordingly you can optimize and uh, checking the configuration part. Okay. Here MIMO you are using uh, the two types of MIMO. One is the open loop and closed loop. Uh, you can check accordingly. Uh, closed loop partial multiplexing also. So you can uh, check check that configuration whatever the configure in your E node B that is properly working or not. And whatever the configure the parameter definition in a particular E node B. Uh, accordingly that configure is happening in field level or not. So you can check uh, MIMO utilizations RI also rank indicator 1 and 2 3 4 depend upon your MIMO configure. So uh, and the closed loop also uh, and closed loop and open loop configurations. So you can check and optimize accordingly and uh, now fifth one is the service impact impacting alarm if there is any servicing impact on that particular side need to clear first. Hmm. So that, that that impacted your throughput. So, so you can um, first clear this, fix these alarms, then your throughput will be uh, improved. Channel bandwidth that means your uh, channel bandwidth that means your 5 megahertz, 10 megahertz, 20 megahertz uh, bandwidth so you have availability. So you can check accordingly uh, your channel bandwidth parameters, uh, whatever the definition uh, uh, on that particular parameter should be properly, uh, whatever the uh, uh, frequency you are using. 
so that means if for the 20 megahertz bandwidth so there should there should be a definition properly for the 20 megahertz okay if you are using 10 megahertz that proper definition should be the channel bandwidth will be 10 megahertz so that definition part you also uh, also check and the transmission bandwidth the transmission bandwidth need to check the transmission uh, bandwidth whatever assigned on that particular site uh, that need to be check uh, if there is a transmission bandwidth is uh, uh, low that means if you are not defining the maximum transmission bandwidth that may be impacted your throughputs packet loss and packet delay packet loss is also important uh, in dl packet loss and ul packet loss if you are getting the high packet loss on that particular side that may be may be your uh, due to the e node b that there that may be due to your ip devices so you can check accordingly on the troubleshooting on that part also and the uh, end-to-end -end mapping with your particular e node b to particular ip devices what are the router uh, configure and your your sdw part and you are uh, directly ping to the your routers and check your losses if you are getting high losses then need to fix that path or you are change that path on path also and the packet loss in the radio end also their radio end also they are if there is in packet loss high on that particular radio loss that means there is an some issues uh, on that particular sites related to the alarm or the, there is related to the your um, configured the uh, configured parameters so you can need and check on that packet loss and packet delay also packet delay in same way you can check uh, in your if your throughput uh, you are calculating that is your kci 8 and 9 you can check, check packet delay on kci 8 and 9 if very much you are getting high delay uh, that you can also check that delay is due to the radio end or there is an any device related to the core ip or transmission device that you need to check and that need to be fixed to improve your throughputs block error rate block error rate should be 10 percent less than equal to 10 percent if his block, block block error rate is high so you can optimize the accordingly to reduce the block error rate to improve your throughput scheduler limitations i can check your scheduler is working properly or not that is multiple scheduler is there so you can check uh, fifo lifo and your round robin is there so whatever you are using uh, the scheduler and that is properly working or not okay if you required you can change the scheduler to improve the throughputs CQI reporting and the radio conditions so that is, uh, is it is also a major part in the radio domain so that need to check what if the rsrp rsrq and sign r and CQI reporting time interval huh? and there is an uh, CQI reporting periodic and aperiodic uh, and the, both are uh, both should be enabled if both is not enabled so you can check on that condition also and the CQI MCS mapping if you are getting a uh, uh, good CQI on that particular uh, site or cells but MCS you are not getting the good MCS so you can check the CQI and MCS mapping correspondent CQI and MCS mapping is correctly or not you can check accordingly that parameter also QS related issues related there is a mapping between your radio transmission IP core whatever the QS definition is there uh, in radio and that should be the properly mapping to all the domains if there is an any mismatch that means you are not getting the good throughput on that particular site or cell and active visual license capacity that means how much user can latch at a time on that particular site okay if there is an uh, if your uh, license is not there if your uh, if your uh, license value is less that means the particular user cannot be uh, can cannot latch on that particular sites that means rab is not allocated that particular user and physical users block not allocated to the particular users so that may be impacted your uh, throughputs and that is configuration related issues that is the part of the part of the your network audit you can check whatever the configuration parameter you have defined on the particular e node b and e cell labels that may must be the thresholds must be in your uh, defined criteria so this is the regions of the low throughput hope you like this video if you like please subscribe my channels thank you guys thanks for your time have a good day